I'm undefeatable. Walking down this endless highway with nothing but my friends beside me. We'll never give in, we'll never rest. This battle is the ultimate test from the earth to land, the sea and the sky. You'll never win, but you sure can try. Oh, I'm undefeatable. Yeah, okay, anyway. Howdy guys, I'm Silent Senior 2, no, and I still cannot sing, but man, I sure love to give it the old college try. Last time we left off, on a painful note, we finished up round 6. Oh my gosh, I was really, just, oh, there's so much cutting, and just, ooh, it was really awful. It really showed my stupidness, but at the same time, it probably made y'all think, whoa, yeah, they didn't fudge around when they made these last few puzzles. Which brings me to today's video. These puzzles are pretty nasty, so get ready. We only have to clear one of them. However, y'all know me. I will indeed show how to clear the other two, because I'm weird like that. I'm crazy. I, I, I like making sure all the puzzles are solved. All the puzzle solutions are belong to this channel, to Silent Senior 09. Don't you forget it either. Hmph. Harumph, harumph. And of course, with Ella Kid, and I like the scenery that matches Pikachu's, we have him hosting this, so uh, maybe we'll have good luck here. So, what are the problems that we spot? I see five red hearts, so that can be kind of an issue. In fact, it is an issue. It can be kind of. You have to match all five of them to the combo, dude. Question is, how do they want us to match it? I mean, there's a few ways this could go. This could be a T-shape in disguise. And in, in turn, could be a blessing in disguise. It could very well be we have to match them horizontally, because there's no way we can match them vertically. At least on the surface, it looks like that's not the case. There could even be a hidden L shape in here somewhere. Like, say, if we were to drop or pull this out, you know? Then switch this purple and the red heart, and then do this, and then. Clearly, that's not the answer, but you get what I'm saying. There's probably some way to finagle and get an L shape. I just haven't been able to spot it yet. <laughs> so, there's that. There's also the idea of... Maybe... Maybe it's just as simple as it's a horizontal combo that they're going to be doing. But man, what a combo that'll be. Like, this red heart here in the center, assuming this is the center of that five-heart combo... It's got to drop immediately down in the middle, and everything's got to be already set up and ready to rock and roll. Else it's going to get screwed completely. Screwed up completely, excuse me. Anyway, let's take our mind off of that for a sec. Let's just simply focus on the other stuff that we got to worry about. Like, for example, the stars here. I can see that we may want to consider setting that up like that? That might be something worth doing. Let's try it and see. Let's drop this blue down and match a combo of six. Actually, it's going to be a combo of... Yeah, it is going to be a combo of six, or a combo of nine. One of the two. Combo nine, okay. All right, and then that drops down, and then that leaves us with that mess. Wait, one extra blue. I was expecting two reds, but not the blue. How many blues do we have? Uh, three, three is six, plus one on the bottom right, seven. Oh! Clever little sneaks. I didn't notice that before. All right. Well, that gives me a new idea I want to try. Why don't we try moving the stars in a fashion that makes them seem like they're going to match up on the right side instead of the left side over here? Let's instead switch this blue triangle with the stars over to the right twice, okay? And then let's go ahead and pull this out, or switch this to the right once, right? Right? Well, of course it's right. It's moving, being moved to the right, dude then we have ourselves another problem. We haven't really got a way to drop this star down to match these stars over here. So, I guess we're SOL. Also, I'm going to ship out of luck. Alright, well, I guess we can't do it that way. That's fine. However, I got one more idea I can try before I have to go into Zen mode of think, think, think. You know, like Pooh Bear. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Let's move this star over to the left once. Switch this blue triangle with the star. Take this triangle and pull it out. And then... Yeah, that's not gonna work, but I wanna see what happens. So that drops down and... Okay, so we got a mess. We got a mess, alright. 
Guess what? It's time to go into Zen mode for a bit. Meanwhile, the kid's gonna have a temper tantrum. Oh, Kido Kido Choki, so I have the idea of what we're supposed to do. I've just been sitting here patiently waiting for my neighbor to shut off his equipment, and it sounds like he finally finished, so let's go and get started. First up, take these stars in the bottom right here, and we're gonna move them to the right once each. So that's two moves. A one, a two. Next, we're gonna match the blue triangle suit, but we're not gonna drop this down, because that won't solve the puzzle. For one, we still have the problem with the hearts up here. We're actually going to go ahead and set them up in a way that doesn't look like it's going to work, but if you look carefully, you're like, oh wait, maybe if everything falls correctly, stuff will match in a crisscross fashion, right? Well, if you do, like I did initially, if you try to do this while I was off screen playing around, that won't work. So instead, why don't you try dropping the blue triangle on top down here? Ah. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's your solution. Ugh, take that last round. Booyah! And the stars explode all over the screen. And just like that, we are greeted with credits immediately because this game just cannot get enough of having names scroll up across the screen. That being said, future self, please put the time on screen of what we unlock for clearing a puzzle, or a round, in last round. Me. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Now, oh, set the controller down so I don't accidentally push the button. We don't really unlock any, like, button combination stuff like we do, like we have been doing. Nor do we unlock really if anything information relevant, but I figured I'll let this play out at least once. And the... What I'll do is I'll go back to um, the puzzle mode, and we'll go ahead and finish up 7-2 and 7-3, and then that'll be the end of this video. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering, Okay, Silas Sr., we've been having a lot of puzzling. Puzzle challenge, excuse me, I keep mixing up the names. Sometime this century, are you going to update Paper Mario? I know I talk about it enough on here, and I apologize for that, for those who are really not interested in Paper Mario, you're like, shut up about that, I, I only care about this. For those who actually care about Paper Mario, yes, that will be updating soon. The time that this is going up is probably in April, and if I had to guess, let's say it's probably going to be about a week from now, the day that this is being put together, or being recorded, I should say. So, that being said, assuming that's the case, probably another week after that is when I'll officially begin to start Chapter 5 in that. So if y'all are wondering, like, okay, are you going to get Paper Mario sometime, or are you just going to focus on finishing Pokemon Puzzle Challenge? If it comes to it, honestly, I'm just going to probably put all my energy into making sure we finish this game together. And then after that, I'll probably hold off on starting any new projects, especially since I really... I don't have any idea of what I want to do, which brings me to the next topic at hand. Since we're getting toward the end of Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, uh, there may be... Quite a few, there's a handful more videos for sure, but I kind of want to pick y'all's minds. What are you guys in the mood, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grannies and grandpas, babies of the world? What are you in the mood to see? Definitely leave some thoughts down below, I'd appreciate it, because it kind of, those comments, they kind of help me decide. They're not like the decision, the ultimate decision making factor, but they do help me kind of pinpoint. Maybe I should take my channel in this direction or that direction. Gensugu Mori would appreciate it as well. But, um, yeah, just figured I'd throw that out there. Like, I kind of am lacking in the ideas department. Like, I have, you know, the videos that, or the projects I said I was going to do in my wrapping up 2016 video. For those who didn't see it, I'll throw the card on screen. And if you're watching this on Vimy, that probably won't make any sense because there is no card feature for Vidme, and as far as I know, that doesn't transfer over. Which means I'll probably have to make sure I either put a link in it, or just tell you, uh, look up Wrapping Up 2016 video, and it should show up on my YouTube page, specifically. Anyway, I remember I listed, like, a chunk of games that we could do, and this is obviously one of them that was listed, so that's cool that I finally got... I, I like, immediately almost got to one of them. But... The other games, like Super Mario Bros. 2 and Kingdom Hearts, 
I kind of want to hold off on Kingdom Hearts because that's an RPG game, and Paper Mario is very much a heavy RPG game. Maybe not the same style, you know, one's more action-related, the other's turn-based. And then the other one is, well, it's Super Mario Bros. 2. I mean, for crying out loud, it's another Mario game. I kind of want to hold off on doing two Mario games at the same time. Like, I had an issue where I had two Pokemon-based uh, games going on at the same time, and that really... It made my channel look kind of cluttery and messy, and I didn't like that. So, that leaves one only, only, one only other option, which is to do a Kirby game, but I've just not been really feeling the Kirby vibe. So, if you all don't mind, I'd appreciate it if you give me your thoughts on what you want to see. And with that, all that rambling aside, it seems we have reached the end. Oh, my chair's chiming in with all kinds of commentary as I lean forward, because I'm sitting here leaning back like a goofball, or like that song... Lean back. Lean back. Alright, so we get a congratulations with the same screen that we had after we had cleared round six. And if we push A once, don't push it twice. More puzzles! Now we can select a star file to try more puzzles. All we have to do is use the control pad to move and switch between regular puzzle mode and star puzzle mode. So... What that means is if we go to our file in one-player puzzle mode... BOOM! Yes! You thought we were almost finished with puzzles? Ha 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 ha! Ah, how naive. We have another full-fledged amount of videos of the same stages that we just did, except they're gonna be more puzzles, they're gonna be a lot harder, there's gonna be more 4-5 moves uh, requirements for the puzzles to be solved. Think of it as kind of like in Kirby's Dream Course, how they had star puzzles there, except, you know, much harder than those. Actually, those are probably much harder. Anyway, that was a bad example. We have more content to do, but don't worry. I'll space it up. For now, let's focus on the immediate elephant in the room, which is we gotta finish these last two last round puzzles. These are probably gonna be equally as infuriating, but I don't know, maybe I'll... I'll surprise myself and we'll figure this out relatively quickly, you know, in a snap. Alright, so let's figure out everything that we need to consider. We have four stars, which would be pretty cool, especially if it was the four stars out of five. Anyway, enough of the Yelp jokes, dude. And then we have, how many hearts do we have? We have three, six, eight. Ooh, that's also another mess. That's either two separate combos of four. Or that's a combo of five hearts and a match of three hearts. Either way, that is kind of a problem. But I guess we'll worry about that when, you know, the time comes for it. And we only have three moves to do, which, in one sense, is a blessing because that means there's less moves we got to worry about. But in the other sense, it also means that this is a bit of a brain buster, to be honest. So, let's, let's think carefully, okay? I don't know why I'm singing the tune for Yoshi's Island DS. I haven't played that game in years, even. Jeez. Um, I keep trying to picture like what combo they want me to do with the hearts, because I'm telling you that's what's going to happen. There's is there's going to be a weird combo somewhere, but maybe I need to not focus on that. Let's try pulling the star out first and see where that takes us. And then what we could do is take this heart that's on top, drop it down, and then come underneath and drop this, or pull this red heart out to the right and see what happens there. Oh wow, that actually worked? Snap. I was just sitting here playing around thinking like, that's not gonna work. Cool, now I actually got to show a puzzle that was really hard. <laughs> Burp. Without cutting away. Alright, we're not gonna sit here and watch this. Screw that. If you're wondering what happens when you clear another puzzle in the last round, it just shows you the exact same credits, and then right at the end it gives you the same message, and it says, Hey! Now you have more star puzzles! And it's like, well, no duh, we already had those. Alright, let's go ahead and finish up our very last and final puzzle in last round. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh. I'm already liking this. It doesn't look like it's going to be too intuitive, but it also might be misleading, too. Hmm. Hmm. 
Geez, what am I, Hufumi from Danganronpa? Trigger Happy Havoc? Alright, well, let's make like a Kone. I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna solve the puzzle. Yer! Yeah. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm stinking with an S. I'm, or, excuse me, I'm thinking with an S, so I'm stinking. I'm actually smelling pretty good because I took a shower. We probably want to match the hearts, which are five of them, by the way, in case you didn't count. There are five of them? Excuse me, you better speak your words, boy. In a crisscross fashion. And the way the purple diamonds are set up right here underneath, they just look so beautifully laid out. The problem I'm having is we are given four moves, and there's a reason they did that. Which tells me, oh crap, this is going to be a lot harder than it seems. Oh, I see what, what the other moves are. Okay. Very sneaky. That's very... I mean, let me just show you what happens when we do it like this, and then it'll become clear as to what the other two moves are for. Huh. Well, that didn't quite pan out. We did have the right idea, but this is what came to mind. This blue diamond, or blue triangle, I keep wanting to call diamonds triangles and triangles diamonds, apparently. This right here, if we switch it, then take this purple diamond here, drop it down a layer, and then switch it back as it switches layers. Voila, instant fix right there. Except, not really. Crap. Well, dang it, I thought I had the right idea. Oh, I think I do still. Let's go ahead and switch the blue triangle with the purple diamond again. Then instead of pulling out the... Oh, that's what I did. Right. Okay. Well, actually, I didn't do it exactly like that, but... I had to turn my thinking a little around there. Alright, so from the beginning, come on, do it! Switch! Drop! Switch it back! Match! And we have cleared the final puzzle. I'm gonna set my control down, because that is... Oh, how the big boys do it back at home. Big girls, too, while you're at it. Oh, yeah. Mmm, baby! And with that, we got another credit sequence, which I don't care about. But I'll let it play through. And while that's doing that... Oh! Allow me to say thank you all so much for watching! That was a really loud, obnoxious so. Sorry for bursting your eardrums out, but... Woo! Can we get five more woos, please? Woo! 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 And woo! <sighs> we are halfway done with puzzle mode. Next time we meet, we're going to take a break from puzzles, we're going to do garbage mode, and we're probably going to go ahead and try and score 50,000 points on easy mode. If I say I'm going to do it on hard mode, I must be smoking some, because there's... I already mentioned, I had trouble with marathon hard mode, trying to score 50,000 points. In fact, I couldn't even get past 30,000. I don't even want to imagine if I try to do hard mode on garbage. Just, no. Just, let's not even kid ourselves. But all that aside, thank you for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't still slap. And the next time we meet, we might be on Paper Mario, depending on, you know, timeline-wise, where this falls out. I know we're in April by the time this goes up, but that's about all I know. We might actually end up just finishing up Pokemon Puzzle Challenge before we even touch Paper Mario, which wouldn't be a bad thing, but... If that does happen, fret not, I'll probably hold off on introducing a new project until we update more Paper Mario, okay? So, again, take care, and peace out, y'all. Check it.